I will be a global health professional who leads with intentionality, dignity, and integrity. I understand my responsibility and hold myself accountable to use this learning to contribute to the field of global health, especially to disadvantaged populations. I will maintain the utmost respect and compassion of human life, human rights, and human dignity. I will deliver my services with equity and excellence. I will promote and practice lifelong learning and research in global health. I made these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. So help me God. Graduates, please be seated. Students, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Science of Global Health Delivery. allow me to extend my heartfelt congratulations once more to my esteemed fellow graduates. Each and every one of you fills me with immense pride, not only for the friendship we share, but for the remarkable global health leaders that you all are. My dear friends, the class of 2023, I implore you to embrace the power of showing up. Show up for yourselves unwaveringly each and every day, but more importantly, extend the same and wavering presence to those who find themselves lacking support. Venture into the often overlooked corners of our world and proudly stand beside those who face marginalization. Let our collective commitment to showing up be the catalyst for positive change and a statement to our dedication to creating a more inclusive and equitable society. As you commence today, we welcome you, Lions to rewrite history, to shape the future of health from who tells the stories, to who does the research, to how we fight for a better world. 13 countries, 46 students, health management, gender, sexual reproductive health, one health, it's a very productive day in Rwanda. So congratulations also to families, uh, members, staff of UGHE, uh, colleagues, friends, everyone who came to this beautiful day. I, uh, once again, uh, welcome, it's my pleasure. I want to highlight something very important. Uh, we've had discussions recently about these inequities that we're observing across the world, across the globe as far as uh, health systems are concerned. There's only one doctor, one midwife, and one nurse, all combined. It's a ratio for one for 1,000 people. In Rwanda, the same in Africa and other uh, resource-limited countries. It's a ratio of one for 1,000. So World Health Organization suggests that we should have minimum four per 1,000 people to treat, to care. If you look at countries that have uh, made advances in care, like uh, the examples that uh, Dr. Joy was mentioning, they are more than 25 per 1,000 ratio provider to people to be treated. But here we are talking about one for 1,000. What does it mean? It means the care we are delivering will not reach everyone or will reach the few who are lucky. Even those who are delivering the care service 
will not be able to sustain that demand because you can't be four people. You can do your best, but you can't do four, five, ten people. So from there, we made our own estimations here in Rwanda. How long will it take for us to attain four providers per 1,000 people, which is the minimum for a healthcare system to sustain? If nothing is changing drastically today, it is going to take us 185 years to reach that minimum ratio. That is the case for Rwanda, for Africa, for all resource-limited countries. 185 years. Our grandchildren will not see it. Because even disease, we continue to grow and increase. The pressure, what you mentioned today, outbreaks, pandemics, climate change, all the different pressure that actually create diseases, we continue to emerge. But our capacity to deal with those problems, at least 185 years. That is true statistics. What are we doing about it? UDHE has been doing great contributions, but 46 people, for the needs that we have, it's like a drop into the ocean. It's a drop into the ocean. I'm not discouraging you that you can't change these things, but what are you going to change most is to understand the gap, the needs, the pressure, the demand that is out there. So you don't work as one, one-on-one, -on -one, or as business as usual. You have to work in a very special circumstances that you are changing the history of 185 years into something that can be dealt into maybe something you want to see in your lifetime, that your children want to see, that your grandchildren want to see. So from there, we developed a, a strategy that I'm glad UDHE was part of it, uh, which recently was put out. Now we are starting active implementation that we are going to quadruple our current healthcare workforce, quadruple four times, from one to four. But there's another factor. How long? For how long are we going to do that? Will it take 105 years? Because that is also quadruple in that number in the time, bringing it the shortest time possible. So we put it into a period of, guess what? Four years. <laughs> Four years on average. Because this is the minimum time using our energy, our efforts, our creativity, the things we've done that seemed impossible. This is Rwanda. Rwanda can do it, and if we can do it, we can demonstrate that others can also do it. Because we don't have such huge economy that is going to, to bring things at a, at a go. But what is important is not the money, it's the idea, the commitment, the enthusiasm to go, and the unity, the teamwork that we're going to make it happen. So, that became our four by four strategy. Quadruple our current healthcare workforce in four years. Allow me to end uh, with a quote uh, from our beloved Dr. Paul Farmer. I'm sure some of you may have heard about it. It says, with rare exceptions, all of your most important achievements on this planet will come from working with others. Or in a word, partnership. I want to add something my other friend who was at my PhD committee 
uh, kept repeating to me that Saba, good partnership, it's all about great friendship. So partnership and friendship. The class of 2023, they're going to go out there, make changes, impact, big changes, not small ones, not easy ones. Make good partnership, but also make good friendships. <laughs>